Is that an invitation to your bar mitzvah? Because I'm busy that day. It's a motion to have you sanctioned for improperly contacting a witness. You didn't improperly contact anyone. Well, oh, bullshit. You got Rachel Zane alone so you could offer her a deal to turn on me. There's nothing wrong with that. You listen to me. You've been pulling shit like this from the second this thing started. You deny my client access to his attorney, you fabricated charges against Donna, and now you're tampering with a witness. And all witness tampering would do is hurt my own case, and why on God's green earth would I do that? What did you just say? I said you're insane. If you think now that- You said on God's green earth, which is exactly what that editorial said. I remember because I thought what person under 80 uses that phrase. Well, looks like I found her. I don't know what you're talking about. You sure as hell do because you planted that goddamn thing. You have any proof? No, you don't. But even if I did plant that thing, it would only be because there's no way that one of you did not know what was going on. And until one of you admits that, I'm gonna take apart your firm brick by brick. So you wanna file that thing, you go ahead. It's not gonna stop me for one second. Rachel, please, have a seat. Thank you, Dean. I have to say, I have so been looking forward to my first student review. And ever since your first interview here, you have done nothing but impress me. Which is why I'm sorry to have to bring this up now. Bring what up? The fact that your last LSAT score was significantly higher than your previous ones. That is because I studied incredibly hard the last time. Did you study hard? Or did your fiancé study hard for you? You think Mike took the LSATs for me? I think he's been indicted for more serious crimes than that. And now there are allegations that he's taken the LSATs for people. I can't believe this. I took that test myself. And I have a responsibility to protect the reputation of this university. And how exactly are you proposing to protect that reputation? By expelling any dangers to it. Unless, of course, for some reason, these allegations against him are dropped. Anita Gibbs called you, didn't she? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm simply giving you the courtesy of letting you know that if I have to choose between your future and this university's, I'm not choosing you. Well then, please, tell Ms. Gibbs thank you for the courtesy. <laughs>